If you want to make sure your website looks great across all devices, all browser sizes, you might need to go a little bit beyond and set custom media queries. In this video, we're going to cover how to do that with Webflow. And also one tip that I'm pretty sure you didn't know about to deal with the old Internet Explorer browsers coming up. Hey everybody, what is up? I'm trying to keep the, the vibe going, but if I look a little bit tired, that's because yesterday I had a birthday, I'm 37 years old, and went out to a restaurant with my wife. Now, when you're 37 and you drink a couple of, of glasses of wine, you're wasted. And so today, I'm pretty hungover from the birthday festivities. I'm trying to keep it, keep it you know, light, but I'm pretty wasted. So we'll try to do this tutorial pretty quick and make sure you get the value fast. So let's dive into what is actually media queries. If you're using Webflow, you're pretty familiar with these, you know, mobile responsive buttons that allows you to set how things look differently on mobile. And what actually happens is that these are buttons actually represent what's called media queries. Now, media queries, basically, it's a part of CSS that says when the browser size is in these um, sizes, let's say it's less than 800 pixels wide, for example, then treat CSS, do this CSS differently. And that's basically how we define how things look on mobile. We just say, if the browser is small, then do a different CSS. That's basically what media queries is. However, a lot of people are asking, um, and they find that these just four media queries that Webflow suggests by default, which are super easy to use and set up, sometimes they're not enough. Specifically, what we hear a lot over and over is that people are looking that in the, the iPad, I'm not sure if it's the iPad Pro or general iPad, when it's on landscape, basically it shows, you can see the website as it would be on desktop and sometimes that's not really what you want so sometimes you might need to add a kind of an extra breakpoint or an extra media query and i want to show you how to do that it's not very complicated to do basically what you would do is you would go into your project settings and into your custom code now i know you might be scared of custom code so i'll share this project you'll be able to just copy and paste this for yourself so you don't have to write this yourself basically this is how it goes we cre create a style tag and close it of course and this is how a media query might look like so a media when the maximum width is this basically give a style to an element and this would be the style right so here it is this is the i think the correct one for the ipad max width of 960 i might be wrong about this but i think it is and minimum width of width of 700 so if it is between 960 and 700 this is what you show so this is your class name and these are the properties now if you're like me you might not really remember how to write all these css properties you're like ah, how do i write these and for me the easiest way to do this is just if you're in the designer and let's say you want to make sure that this, let's say this grid, um, it changes on that specific media query to vertical, right? So from horizontal to vertical. Now you don't remember how to write a flex box or something. Now Webflow now has something that's really cool, which is when you're selecting this, you can actually go here into the help and you get CSS preview. And now you get, you see grid, you actually get the code that you need for how do you write a grid uh, with, you know, flex direction columns and, um, you know, all the properties that we just set. So basically you can just copy that right now because basically that's what you want on that specific, you know, uh, media query. You, you can copy that. Let's undo this. And then you can go back into your custom code and just paste that custom code there. So you don't really need to learn how to code. You can just basically copy and paste what you want. Pretty easy. This is how you would set up a custom media query in Webflow. You would save the changes and then you can't see it directly inside of Webflow, but when you'll publish it, you'll be able to see it. Now, here's for the trick that you might have not known about because I, until Bob um, shared this with me, Bob is working with us in Flux Academy and he's such a pro with Webflow. He showed me this and I didn't even know this existed. Turns out that now with CSS3, you can use Media Query to target only Internet Explorer or specific browsers using these specific tags. Now, why is this awesome? 
Well, some old browsers, specifically Internet Explorer, do not do not support all the new CSS features. Most notably, they don't support Flexbox and they don't support Position Sticky, for example. So sometimes you might build an amazing website and it won't look great or it would look like honestly like crap if you check it out on Internet Explorer. Now, we know that most users don't use that anymore, but what happens if they do? So a, a great way around this would be to have in your website, let me go back into the designer, some kind of a hidden message that would only sh be shown in case you're using that old browser. So it would give you a notice, look, this website does not look properly right now. You should probably update your, you know, your browser. So here's what we have here. We have here um, kind of a hidden div right? That's called Internet Explorer. We just set it to display none. But if I'll bring it back into Flex, um, oops, not to a grid, let's say to a Flex box, then it would get this kind of an overlay um, overlay pop-up that would say this website is not supported on Internet Explorer to see it, you know, upgrade to a better browser and you can download Google Chrome. So this is just obviously, you know, not really well designed, but positioned as an absolute. So this is kind of a pop-up that would hide the, we want this to hide the website in case we're in Internet Explorer. Let me hide this again. Now, the way to do this is, again, we have the specific tags that we can use as a media query in this article, which I'll link below this video. And if we'll go here into the project setting, custom code, then you can see here by this line, this is the media query that we're actually using to target, let's see, Internet Explorer 9 and up or something. Yeah, this one this one or maybe this one nine and above right so this is the media query so we're using that media query to say that the the div that's called Internet Explorer now we're gonna set it to display flex even though it's hidden in Webflow so what this will do is it will show this message only if somebody comes on Internet Explorer now obviously this is just one implementation but I think this is very very use case useful in case you need to kind of protect yourself from those users who are coming from old browsers so i hope you found this useful and saw that it's not really that difficult to add custom media queries to your webflow project all the links below you can check out this project if you need to copy and paste some of those um yeah some of that code hope that's helpful we'll see you next week with another webflow video